Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a low mid and a high tier Premier League team for FIFA 21. So it's obviously the first FIFA 21 video and obviously we're on foot being here. We've been making a few squads and um, showing you like some of the new Prem players and uh, some new ratings and stuff. So first team we're going to be building is a low tier team. So it's going to be something that hopefully at the start of FIFA people can work towards. Then we're going into a mid where a few maybe a month in or so you can afford this. And then a high where towards the end it's going to be like not towards the end but like quite a few months in it's going to be a really good Premier League team that will compete very highly so in goal starting off um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear my uh, keyboard but yeah we've got Gazaniga and then the two centre backs going to be Soyuncu along with Lascelles who's who also I don't know yeah I thought it was about one. Um, he hasn't got much pace but Soyuncu has got decent pace but Lascelles is looking good anyway due to his physical and uh defending as a starting player it's not too bad we've got James from Chelsea at right back got himself a nice gold card not sure how expensive he'll be this year and then at left back got Van Aanholt always a good one uh, for the start of FIFA because he's usually got pace and sometimes that's what you want in a left back so might have seen from the thumbnail we've got Ndombele looks like a really nice card this year in centre mid there and then another one uh, from Tottenham as well defensive player Hoiberg I think has a really nice uh, defensive and physical stats, so um, should be pretty good. And then a Chelsea player up into Cam, it's going to be Mason Mount. I think he'll have an all-rounded card and play very really well. And I'm pretty sure he's got he'll have a decent weak foot, and um, I'm not sure about his skill moves though. Um, in left wing though, we've got Daniel Pedence wherever he is. Um, looks really rapid and good dribbling. He's going to be one of those little players who's really good at just whipping the ball in. Pretty much is what you're going to want him for. He can't shoot, but if you play in this formation, uh, then that's that's pretty much the tactic anyway. And then Minamino in uh, right wing, similar sort of player. He's going to be little, 82 dribbling, 87 pace, really, really good. And a lot better shooting than Potence, so you could actually hit one with him. And then in at striker, we're going for Antonio. Uh, I'm going to have to type in a bit more. Um, once again, looks class. Last year, he was, he was really good at the start of the game. And this year, he looks really good as well. So, um... That's the cheap team, the low rated or low tier team. And um, got a few good players. I'm looking forward to seeing Sienchu in a few teams. I think he'll be really good. Uh, even though he's, in, he's not even got 70 pace, which is what you usually look for. He should be really good. And Gazaniga is 6 foot 5. He, he'll be a beast. So, um, yeah, that's the low team. Right, for the mid tier team, I've gone for a flat 4 4 2. I think it should be pretty good this year. It usually is at the start of games. And this will be like a month in, maybe you can afford something like this, depending on how you've done. So Cancelo in at right back with the Brubka goal, he should look he should be really good. Six foot three and really good stats. And then weirdly a non-rare non-rare um partnership here is Davidson Sanchez. I'm not sure how you spell. Is it David? There he is. Um I'm not sure I, I spelled that wrong. Davison Sanchez looks absolutely amazing for a non-rare card. And I think he'll be very ex ex expensive due to the lack of like pacey centre-backs. Then Rudiger should also be pretty good as well. He usually is good at the start of the game. And then um, Tierney at left-back also will be a beast. And he's going to be very expensive with good pace, good physical, good defending, good dribbling, good passing. Um, that's pretty decent, solid back line. And then there was a few options in, well, a few options pretty much everywhere apart from centre backs. But I've gone for Lucas right mid. I think he'd be awesome. He was great last year and probably will be again. Um, and then Zaha out on the left. Both wingers so rapid, just really, really good all round pretty much. And then Kovacic looks looks like it's going to be a good box to box centre mid. Like good dribbling, good passing, good pace for a centre mid. And then Ndidi to stay back as um, that CDM sort of player in a 4-4-2 to drop back into the centre, you'll be awesome. Really good stats, he's going to be very expensive. And then another expensive card, going to be Gabriel Jesus, but if you can afford that sort of player, 85 pace, 82 shooting, 87 dribbling, it's going to be absolutely immense. And then no fellow Brazilian next to him, to make three in the team, is going to be Richarlison, and he looks awesome, he looks great. In this game, 83 pace, 81 dribbling, 8 physical, good shooting as well, not bad. And that's the mid-tier team. I think that would be a good one to work towards after you've built your starter team. And then, of course, I've gone for the sweaty 4-2-3-1 formation for the final OP, like, mega team, mega Premier League team. De Gea and goals is a lot better people, more expensive and high-rated, but I think De Gea, I just have a funny feeling he's going to be awesome this year, and I usually get on really well with him, so um, that's why I've chucked him in net. Like, obviously, Allison's I think, 90-rated this year, but 
yeah, and right back gone for Walker. Looks, he looks incredible, pretty much. He's going to be awesome again. Always is, really, just because that sheer pace. Then Van Dyke, the best centre back, and probably will be in the game. Um, can't think of anyone who's going to be better than 91 defending, 86 physical, 76 pace in the Prem, especially. Literally, the, I'll just show you the lack of centre backs because Gomez could have fitted into the middle one, but if if I put him in there, I don't know who else would have gone into centre back. Um, in the Prem, because if you look at this now, Laporte is a bit slow for a really good player. Silva's really slow. Alvaro is quite slow as well. Fernandinho is not going to be a good um, centre back, I don't think. Actually, he could be. He hasn't got the physicals. And then like Maguire's slow, Matip's slow. So I've gone for Gomez. He'll be really expensive, but he will be really good. And then uh, left back is also going to be another um, Arsenal, um, Liverpool player. Sorry, it's going to be Robertson. He's going to be the best Prem left back by a mile for the moment and then in a CDM is Sweaty Kante but he's just going to be amazing once again with great stats and then more of a pushing forward box to box Wijnaldum in the other CDM whereas Kante will stay back Wijnaldum looks absolutely amazing probably one of the most all round players in the team and then middle cam you've seen him on the thumbnail Kevin De Bruyne he's going to be insane this year once again he always is good weak foot and stuff and then another one with a weak foot have it he looks great as well he's gonna be so expensive though and then Bruno Fernandez or Bruno Penandez if you look, if you will like um he's gonna be awesome as well not a lot of pace in the cams but I'm not sure how FIFA is gonna if, if, if it's gonna be pacey or passing or what but then if you do need pace you can rely on this man Mr. Aubameyang he's got 93 pace that's <laughs> He's just going to shred defences once again. I remember getting him in a two rare goal player pack last year and he just he just ran the show. So yeah, that's going to be the high tier team. I think it looks insane and it'd be awesome to like work towards some of that. Obviously, you can just pick off players to so, like save up for Gomez, buy him, then maybe save up a lot for De Bruyne, buy him and just start picking off the players out of the team. And obviously, there's a few other choices, but this is what I've gone for. Looks like it's going to be a crazy team in uh, FIFA 21 so I'm gonna do more of these videos I'm gonna do Bundesliga next I think I'll probably do three of the leagues maybe so if you want some nations check it down in the comments any squad builders anything relating to FIFA 21 back on the grind for it so uh, yeah hopefully it'll be good but yeah that's gonna be it for this video if you enjoyed it please hit a thumbs up and subscribe to it. peace <laughs>